95.1 New York Hip Hop and R&B. We are inside Trending Topics. I have the most amazing guests to join me for the rest of Trending ah. today. Sherry Shepard is in the building live, oh ladies and gentlemen. Gosh. Oh my goodness. How honored am I? I love you, Sherry. I love you too. Sher By the way, so <laughs> Sherry and I have spent some time together yes, recently. We, have, girl. we were at the um, Image N Awards. The Image NAACP Awards was my first nomination, my first time attending I the know. awards dinner. I was and, so excited. And then they put my category up against Sherry Shepard. I didn't even realize. <laughs> and, I, and I was over there, I was like, Angie, you gonna get this girl. We manifesting it. This is yours. And then they had us, and I was like, oh, wait a minute. I was like, Kim, I didn't tell Angie she gonna win this. I wanna win. And you did. <laughs> You guys were so good and so funny. Oh, thank you so Congratulations. much. Congratulations. It's your second, right? It's the second image uh, nomination, or no, win. Win? Yeah. You probably have a lot of nominations, no? No, this was our second. You know, we never, I, wouldn't, I, I think I got nominated before I had a sitcom back in 2009 called Sherry. And, and I got nominated for like Never like actress. for The View or anything? We got nominated for The View, but we never won an image award for The View. Wow. So, and, but I won the image award for the my talk show. So yes. that was exciting. For talk, for, for like talk for the wow. talk show. Wait, that this year too? This year. Wow. So oh, I went so home with two. two, two I went home with two. And I told them, I said, Can I take the award home? And they said, No, we gotta do it. And I said, No, because the last one, it took a year for me to get that oh, award. Hell no. I need to show people. They're gonna forget. Where did you put it? Uh w let me see. I have my Emmy in the bathroom because mm -hmm. I have my wigs hanging on my Emmy. Perfect. And uh Perfect. my image award, I have them at the studio. So, That's so nice. you so know, I need people to see these awards. It's inspiring for people. Like exactly. they should, they should know what level you expect to operate on in the office. Exactly. I pull that sucker out. You know, when I, <laughs> when somebody's giving me some guff, I pull that award out and go, "Hey, look, look here." <laughs> Sherry Shepard. Angie, I owe you some money, too. I just wanted to let you know. Why? That. When you, when we met when you came and co-hosted The View, and you bought a bunch of popcorn. I for, did. Because I was trying to raise money for Jeffrey's school. And you never gave me my popcorn. I never And I spent your money. I went out to what eat. What did you do with it? I you was going to out eat? to eat. Yeah, and I was buying the MTA cards. Do you have money on you now? I don't have any money. Well, I could give you money. It's going to bounce. Do my cash app is declined. cash app or Venmo? Venmo, they suspended my account. Um, <laughs> my cash app is they Sherry, keep declining my cash app. You have app. a very successful daytime talk show. You can't but it don't here. match my personal life. <laughs> my a successful talk show does not. When I was on the bus this weekend, it just it, it don't match. Yo, you never gave me my popcorn, That's and I never so gave you my. And you spent a lot of money. I did. So if I could get on that Klarma payment plan with you. <laughs> Angie, I will give you all that money back. I was like a baby on The View. You were so nice to me. We've talked about this before. So much. The View was a very intimidating place. Yes, it is. Was uh, yes, especially is. then. Now I would probably be less intimidated just because I I care less. Like you yeah, know, I don't exactly. mean that in a bad way. I mean like I'm less. It's then, not the pressure. It's yes. not. I would have less pressure now. But when I did it, it was a lot of pressure for me. Because uh, I thought I still kind of wanted to do that. Right. And so it was a lot of pressure. And everybody's very serious and very organized. And you know Barbara, God bless her. Yeah, she's very she's serious. She's very serious and very serious. But you do a joke and she just look at you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, okay, so I was is like, it well, me? Well, you, and then you were so lovely to me. <laughs> uh, and I ju you made me feel so at home and so comfortable. And that, that was the day I probably fell in love with you that day. You were yeah, we so had a good like, time. Yeah, we had a good time. And then so I spent all that money on your son's popcorn sale. I know. You never got your popcorn. And I never got it. I ate that too. <laughs> I ate all of I'm bad at doing these charity things, Angie. Like I'm I'm bad at doing it. Like I can sell you the wallpaper for the school, the gift wrapping, but I never give them the money. Yeah. Cause I always need like I had a car and I needed gas. And you got this charity money, it's just sitting there in the envelope and you had bought a lot of popcorn. A I was lot. like, I'm gonna pay it back. See that would get embezzlement is my middle name. So this is a this is a thing. So I do owe you the money and I wanted to, you know, I've been going to the five step program. So I uh -huh. needed to make amends uh -huh. and I figured I wasn't gonna see you. And when we be talking, we drink, so I'm gonna forget to tell you. We do drink. Drink. Yeah, so we I wanted drinking. to tell you now that I'm completely sober, then mm -hmm. I'm going to get you that money. Okay, I'm going to hold you to that. Yeah, I got two seasons, so I got two years to pay you back. So <laughs> we're good. I'll be here for the at least two years. Yo, how is the daytime? How is that? We're supposed to be trending. <laughs> what do you mean? Did we we didn't finish the trending topics. Oh, forget it, forget okay. it. We're trending. Sorry, Em. Forget about the trending topics. I'm more interested in you, Sherry. Oh, man. Talk to me about this daytime. Talk to me about this daytime slot. Is it everything you dreamed or imagined it would be? It's it's literally surreal. Because didn't you your whole life... like I wanted this. This yeah. has been 18 years of a dream that I have wanted. With so many ups and downs along the so way. So many. Well, you know, so, uh, everybody kept telling me no. Everybody kept telling me, you know, they wanted younger um, people to do a talk show or I didn't have what it takes to sit on the couch by myself. 
and talk. I, you know, oh. it was just, it was always, or, you know, we got this dynamic person who could do it and they wouldn't even last a season. And I kept telling people, comics are really good at talk shows because we make, we can create magic where there's just nothing. Mm -hmm. And uh, so just to get so many no's was discouraging. And I just kept at it and kept at it. And I knew, and it's also God's timing. Because Angie, at this place where I am, I know who I am and I know who my audience is. Mm. So if I had had this dream way back when, I wasn't mature enough to handle the dream coming true. Mm. Now I'm like, I don't take it as serious as I would have. Like how you feel. Yes. You know, if you went back to co-host The View, it 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 doesn't, it's not that you, it doesn't mean anything, but you're different. You've evolved. It yeah. does, that pressure is not there. No. Like it was. Because I believe like you believe, like what is for me will be for me. Absolutely. And we used to say that, but I really live in that now differently. Live in it. So, when they say to me, yeah. oh, your ratings are not here or not. And I go, you know, but it was God ordained. So whatever he wants to happen is going to happen. happen. And I'm here as long as people want to see Silly and Escape. Wait, are and the laughter. ratings not? Uh, yeah. Are they getting better? Are they coming? They have well, to I mean, be. I'm the number one new talk show. Ah! So ah! that is. Ah! Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> so I'm excited about Hold that. Hold on. But you know, working with a corporate system, they always want the ratings of to be course. double whatever, you, whatever you're doing. Of course. And, you know, it's like I don't. I'm not trying to create any kind of hoopla. It's very organic. And if you love it, come see me. Let me give you a chance to change your mind. And also, oh good. also, I think your delivery is not that of a quick, like, it's not just like a quick hit. Like, right. you, you're not in it for the short. You're in it for the long game. I'm in it for the long game. But I but I know I know what I bring. I know who yes. I'm talking to. Yes. And I think just being authentic. I think there was a pressure when I first started. I was like, oh, my gosh, how is my show going to be different from all the other daytime talk shows? What am I going to do that's different? And I, and I like, had a little bit of a minor panic attack. Mm -hmm. And I just remember uh, it was like I was praying. And it was just like, just be you. And that's who I am. Yeah. I come out and I tell you what's going on in my life. I got lost trying to ride the bus. I lost my wallet. And it's just, <laughs> and the people seem to yeah. connect to that. That's what I mean. I think for you, it's like, for the, for, the, for the bosses in charge that want to double your numbers on week one, it's like, you're not going to give them that quick shock thing, but you are going to give them authenticity. Authenticity. And people fall in love with that over time. It's like a relationship. Yes. It's like dating somebody. You got to give what it, it time. Is. Exactly. Well, I hope they don't give up on you ever, even whatever. Well, I got a two season renewal, well, which then, is which is. Thank you for that clap. I mean, <laughs> that, that's why am I the old, hello? Because <laughs> they still going. Are we not trending no more? We're not doing the trend. <laughs> but that's a very you know with talk shows, you rarely get a two season pickup. They usually do it year to year. Yeah, like Kelly Clarkson just got a two year renewal yeah. and she's been in the air like seven years. So I so to get a two season renewal in the first five months mm. is pretty phenomenal. So I'm I'm just resting in that fact and I'm good. I'm just I'm so like, happy for you. As long I just want to give you joy. I want to give you laughter. Everything is Sometimes like Sometimes you be crying fun. on there, you make me cry. It's just crazy. The other day I, I, I had text you because you, you was, had me crying. I was trying to have a day and she what were you crying about? Robin I don't remember. Roberts. Robin Roberts was there and you had a real genuine She wanted moment. me to come on her show and I just was like, first of all, I'm sitting next to Robin Roberts. And she texts me. I cry when you text me. I'm like, Angie Martinez. Yeah, look, Angie Martinez just texted me. Oh, my gosh. You know? <laughs> and I'm like, that's Angie Martinez. I told everybody. And they was like, Angie did what? I was like, yeah, we like that now. You know. <laughs> it's a, and I think I'll feel better, Angie. Like, I'll, I won't be as, like, fan crushing on you. I'm going to send you, like, a new picture. I'm going to send, like, what a I do on my friends. Yeah, I'm going to send you, like, when I walk around the house. Is that how you break the ice yeah, to the next level the of a yeah. friendship? So you going to, like, get a new picture of me. You're going to do me with warning? Or it's just no, I'm just come. send it to you. That's oh, how I okay. do. Oh no, I do all my friends. Oh, you just get a neck. I just go. How you like this? You just gonna get it. You just gonna be just titties. Will you give me right? Yo, <laughs> can I say that on the yes, radio? You can, yeah, yeah, it's gonna be titties. Just Thank right you. when you open it up. It's so sweet. Yeah. So I'm, and I'm be, then I'm be like, then we good. Okay. No, but you gotta send one back to me. Oh well. Okay. Yeah, you can do that's that. That's close. That's like that's, <laughs> that's close. close. Yeah. Wait till I get over your house. As and Nancy Nash. When I get over your house, I just take my clothes off. Oh and my we just god. Sit there. Have teenage boys and a husband in the house. Ooh, girl. They gonna be like, ooh, that auntie scared. Me, I don't want to traumatize <laughs> nobody. Girl, can I give you a trending topic? Yes. Oh my God, Shirley Ralph, her son. I talked about this on the show. Etienne, her son. All these women are like sending him applications. These, these, because he's gorgeous. Her son is. How really, old is he? He's like freaking thirty-one. And he's single and she and is gorgeous. Like, he's single and Shirley Ralph. It, she Jamaican. She is not having it. She <laughs> said that is her baby. And I and so like women are now going after him. 
I gotta see like, a picture. You got look at him. Let let see, you went mmm because it's see. yummy, isn't let it? Me see. He's yummy. Oh, he's handsome. Mm, he ain't no handsome girl. He's fine. Look at Angie. He's handsome. I mean, you look know. At, you, do you, okay, that's the mother in you talking. Yes. Take the mother away and come back to girls' night. Yeah, and still, look at him. He's he fine. Just, he looks very nice. Angie Martinez. He looks Does somebody not- have a tequila or something <laughs> that we can give to Angie? He's handsome. Yeah, let me send his naked picture to you right now so you this, can get back in your... This boy is 20 back years to, younger than me. What are you talking that's about? That's what I'm talking about, Angie. Now, I know... I know Cheryl, have, I feel you, Cheryl. I'm not about here to, about to disrespect you. That's not... Di- no, that's not disrespecting Cheryl you know, Lee you know why? Ralph. You know why? Because I have a 19-year-old, right? And sometimes... I got a 17-year-old. Oh, so, you know. So, know. sometimes my friends say my son is handsome in a way that sometimes it's a little it's too... A, too much. Yes, too much. It's a little too hard on the hand. He's yeah, I hand- told Nisi Nash, I will bust you in your mouth. Yeah. Say one more thing to my son. <laughs> Say, put your boobs in his face one more time, and I will bust you right. And and I understand that. Yeah, I understand that. Yeah. But when you when you're not around the mother, you can say how fine her son is. Mm. That's why I said if I go over Sherry Lee Rouse's house for a girls' night, she's, you don't want me over for no she's girls' not night. Gonna invite you, you be like, where's Sherry going? Her little pajamas upstairs. <laughs> you hey. I may be this age, but I got eyes. I'm gonna tell Sherry Shepard. Girl, you better get with it. Don't catch a charge while you got this I'm hit not gonna, talk he show. Owns it, honey, he owns it, honey. He's 31. 31. And right. he like yoga, girl. He's a yoga enthusiast. You know what that means? <laughs> no, that means that what? That means he can stretch. You can flexibles. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm talking about. Down with Cheryl dog. is going to bust your ass. <laughs> Only if I say it in front of her. Then she will. Surely, I'm scared of her. She's going to bust now, you. Your... This is a dream. Like That, that <laughs> scares me. She's going <laughs> to fight you for real. <laughs> Shirley Ra- and she Jamaican yeah she'll bust me in my mouth yo we have uh, to talk <laughs> that's what we really talking funny. about wait for, wait before we get to anything else what? Sherry is has a tonight she's here now tonight I mean I'm not tonight Friday, Friday night, night Friday night, night yes. you have a show because people forget that I'm a stand-up comic. You're not just a talk show host I'm a stand-up comic you are a stand-up comic I'm not just a talk show host I'm a divorcee and you're so I'm funny single. Everything. Like, oh, they forget everything. Is that like, what you're talking about? No, I don't. Oh, oh. Are you talking about that on the uh, sh- no, yeah, comedy I do. special? I do talk about, yeah, I talk about marriage and being single and, and dating and so wait, raising at, a child. You're in the city t- uh, Friday night at... Uh, at the City Winery. I love the Chelsea City Pierce. Winery. It's a really nice place. I went for the first time for some charity thing, and I was like, why don't I come here more often? It's so great. I went to see Sheila E. at oh, the City Winery. Dope. Oh, my that's gosh. She was, and I said, I want to do stand-up here. And so I'm at the City Winery um, March 31st yeah. and May 4th. That's a Thursday. And I'm going to tell you now, okay. it's, a, it's a 1030 show. So any people my age, you better take a nap. Just take a nap. Yeah, and, I'm, and I'm not going to be mad at you. Goes, be tired. Yeah. Girl, let me tell you, I want to see New Edition mm. over at the NJ Pack. And I got there at 630 to do a COVID test. And I said, so when is New Edition coming? Because the show started at 7. So what are they coming at 730? <laughs> that woman said, they coming at 9. They won't be on the stage till 955. You would have thought <gasps> I passed away. I was like, 955. <laughs> 9.55. I sounded like you when you was like, he looked nice. He looks nice. <laughs> Girl, I said, I'm in bed at 9.55. Because mm. at this age, like, you don't get your rest. This is what you, you start knowing. When you don't get your rest, you die. So, yeah. like, <laughs> I was like, oh, my gosh. So, take a nap before you come see me because it's a it's a 10.30 show. Mm-hmm. And uh, my friend B-Flat, a comic, is going to be there. She's amazing. It's going to be a really high-energy show. Fu- that ca- I want to come. Can I come? I have tickets already set aside for you. You do? I was hoping that you I would come. I will 100% come. Yes. This is Friday night. Friday night. City Winery. City Winery. Are they going to have all the wines there? They have I... all the wines there. Okay. And it's so a... we can have wine and you jokes? You can have wine and jokes. It's a 10 o'clock show. The doors open at 10. The show starts at 1030. Do we know what the weather's going to be like on Friday night? It Well, Saturday is going to be 71. So Friday you... night got to be a nice lead Friday in. night's in the 50s. It'll be like 56. Perfect. So look, like, a little jacket that wine's going to keep you warm, though. Right there on Chelsea Piers. Chelsea Piers. That's fun. And then May 4th, I'm also I'm there again. Okay. And this is on a Thursday at 8 o'clock. So okay, so I... if you can't go this Friday, you can go Thursday, May 4th. May 4th. And they can get tickets for both right now? Yeah, I got tickets for you, and I'm giving away four tickets. Oh, we're giving tickets show. away today? Yeah. We're giving tickets away today. Should we do it right now? Uh, four tickets to one person? Yeah, because you don't want to go just... You want to go with your crew, right? Yes, you want to go... You don't want to go to a comedy club alone. Go with your boo. Go with your crew. All right. Make it a girls' night. And if you forget, you can go to SherryShowTV.com. So coming in actually in a little bit, 5 o'clock, we're about to get to the mix. Shout out to Sus1. He's... You know, he does your show, and then he comes here and mixes. Do you, Here's the thing. I wake up in a panic because Sus works with you, and uh-huh. he works with Mariah Carey. Yes. And at 2 o'clock in the morning, I wake up in a panic, and I go, is this the day... Angie and Mariah are going to say, Sus, we need you full time. 
and I, I I'm gonna have to fight y'all. Because... <laughs> well, by the way, I I had him before you, and then and Mariah had him before both of us. I so. know, but like I'm yeah. I'm afraid y'all gonna call in your seniority and take us away from me. I like, only need him for like an hour a day. The rest okay. is yours. It works out fine. Well, the see, way this it is. works out for me. Yeah. Now I gotta worry about Mariah. Yeah. You know, because <laughs> she be funny. Yeah, I don't know what you know what Mariah won't. You Mariah know, Mariah is very you know. Yeah, I mean, she all over the moment. place. One day she might say, you know, sus. I just you gotta come with me and we gonna travel the world on a world then what am i supposed to do he (laughs) creates a party over on the sherry show so it would be like and then you i don't know you saw us he we have a special called sherry's office it's like kind of a take on he's so good i'm so proud of him he's so funny in it can we put a little clip in this interview to show yep you know what it is the feature presentation dj sus one and for all updates on the sherry show go to sherryshowtv.com oh sus Sherry, what's up? Nothing. You are the person that I've been looking for. Really? I just wanted to tell you that you have been doing an exceptional job, Sus. You are taking it to a whole nother level, and I love it. I appreciate you. What happened? I'm just looking. Is that a new chain you have? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's I <laughs> like that. On top of the new shirt. Yeah, man. Just look, try to keep it fitted. Well, Sussy, you are keeping it fitted. Whatever you're trying to do, you're doing it. See you, right. Sussy. You look good. The 10 extra push-ups, I think, worked. I guess so. Honestly, what Sherry's been saying about me lately, I greatly appreciate. You know, she's been calling me sussy lately, and, you know, she has been saying a lot of nice things lately, actually. Like, she's been very flirtatious lately. Can I call you sussy? You're so sexy, sussy. Sus, you showed up. Do you have that on your Bumble profile? You look younger and younger every birth, and you know what that means, sus? I know. You know what it means. I know what it means. You know what it means. I I think Sus is like into the cougars. Like, <laughs> I think Sus, you like a well seasoned woman. That's what I was thinking. Sussy. Sussy. I think, I think Sherry's feeling the kid. If yes. you go on YouTube mm-hmm. and, and look up Sherry's office, it's like a spoof on, uh, you know, being at the behind the scenes. And Sus was so nervous as an actor. It was about the fact that he thought I had a crush on him. Yeah, and, and we he, know that's not true. And what, and what you know, let me t- that baby <laughs> face. Let me. T- I didn't tell Sus, and I tried to call him Sussy. I do want to let you know he let me know that's Angie's nickname. Okay, for me, and I, I try to throw it in again a he, couple. Other he doesn't times. love it when I call him, but he doesn't have a choice. That's what I call him. He just he look, <laughs> he's like a big teddy bear, and he got that baby face. And See, I this t- is why he thinks you have a crush on him because you talk about I him that way. So I like do Sussie. not talk about him that way. Well, I just I abuse him at every. Turn. I'll use he them let, he also... if you let me, but <laughs> you know, he, but I love, Sus is just, like, he's got this baby face, and I love men who are, like, very smart, and he, and I, and he gets the crowd going, so I like that when, when you can move a crowd, that's why, yeah. I, you know, I would married damn a comic, I just, I love people who are in the entertainment industry who know what they're doing, and Sus is like, he's that guy. Oh, that's enough about him already, he's so gas. <laughs> that's enough about Sus. I know Sus. I'm gonna give him a big head. That's enough, uh, that is enough I'm about gonna give him. Sus a big head, but he's just, he's so good. <laughs> So I just don't want you to take them from me. Wait, Sherry, you're single now, for real, like, right? I'm Are you single, in the streets? Yes. Are you looking? What is happening? No, oh. no, because right now, you know, first of all, <laughs> I got to get my mouth under control. Uh. But I, being a boss and leading your own show and then having to come home and, and let some of the testosterone go and get the estrogen back in my voice, it's, it's, a, it's a delicate dance. Yeah, you can find it. I have to find it, but I don't have any time to find it because I'm trying to run a show, mm. and you have to be a, you have to lead. So right now, I'm just trying to find my zone with having a talk show. Well, you just need to find somebody that's okay that likes that about you. That likes that about me. Yes, I it's, guess so. Yeah, they're, I'm they're sure out there is there. someone out there. But at this place, I'm okay with it. Yeah, and I'm okay. But but I do go out on dates, so you know I'm and I have a lot. It's funny oh. that the tales that I find with, you know, going out with these apps and stuff. Oh my gosh, girl. Are you on the apps? Well, I'm not on the apps. My friends are on the apps and this is what they do, Angie. Like they'll see somebody that they think would fit me and they will send them a message and they will say, hey, now it could be you. Look, I'm my girlfriend, she Puerto Rican. So she'll send them a picture and, <laughs> and then of course they're interested, which means that's their flavor. So she sends a picture and, and they'll go, hey, and she'll go, no, it's not me. It's for my friend. And I need to know about you. And they're like, are you catfishing me? And she's like, no, she's an entertainer and I want you to talk to her. And then, so she will tell me they're interested. And I go, you're Puerto Rican, I'm black. Like, I look (laughs) way different from you. Are you sure? (laughs) 
<laughs> but when I call, I'll call and go, hey, my girlfriend said that we might be fun. So I went on dates with doctors. The doctor lasted a little bit. Nice. Uh, but he, he don't date a doctor. Why? He delivers babies. He's uh, he's they're never home. Yeah. They like and they deliver babies at like 11 o'clock midnight so they're never ever home that might work for you you need space so that you could run your ship i know but if i'm gonna have a doctor i want to be able to have him on my arm and go he see he delivers babies he's a doctor <laughs> this is an OBGYN. you know you want bragging rights yeah yeah so yeah. I, would, I would go to you know i would have, like, have to go to the hospital and you know on his break he come in his little scrubs and i'm like is this all we gonna do <laughs> sit in the break room and, and you got another baby you got to deliver but that was fun he was really smart mm. and he he gave me financial advice really, really smart and then i dated somebody he had his own business in Atlanta mm-hmm. and uh, he ghosted me. He was really cute. We went, he had a great dinner, girl, and ghosted me. What do you mean? I had never been ghosted. Tell me how this works. You calling and he's just not answering or you're texting? Like, what's happening? Like, he, we had a great time. He took me to dinner. I think it was that people in Atlanta recognized me more. Uh. Like, they followed me to the bathroom. And I think he was, because he was really gorgeous. Uh. And he had a big, you know, he had a Mercedes and everything. And I think he was used to getting attention and so I, I he had ghosted me and I texted him and I said look I just want to know what happened like yeah. if, you, if you don't like me that's not that big of a deal but what happened like I just need a critique like yeah. I'm giving you the survey to <laughs> fill out so I know the next time and he said really it was a little intimidating because so many people came to and I told him get a private room yeah. but I didn't want to flex and so he said he was a little intimidated then I went out with a well, sheriff well he ain't the guy for you he's not the guy yeah I went out with a sheriff Okay. And the sheriff, I was really, I tr- tried to do the estrogen thing. And he said, I want to go to, he said, I want to go to the old lady gang restaurant. That's Candy Burris. I know Candy Burris. Mm-hmm. And he said, but it's closed. So we ain't going to be able to get in. Mm-hmm. Oh, sitting on my hands like we can get in. If the restaurant <laughs> closed, I can go in the back in the kitchen and cook. We can get in. And and I was just like, oh my gosh. And he said, let's go somewhere else. And I'm like, do you really want, and he said, yeah. So I texted Candy and she was like, I'm going to open it up. I'm had, and they, and, and they opened it. And he was like, wow, that was good and I said I think they opened early you know so and we sat at the table and people kept coming up to me and I, he was getting a little frustrated and then I tried to make him feel good I said oh that's a big gun do you carry your gun can I see your gun <laughs> he put it on the table like, oh that's a big gun what you do with that gun you know trying to make him feel good and oh my goodness oh. it was just a, it was a lot of work but no and, wonder you're tired. And I was so big when I drive in a car, which you don't notice, I'm fall asleep because I'm always tired. Yeah. So I kept falling asleep in the car. And he goes, "Are you narcoleptic?" Okay, that ain't sexy at all. <laughs> oh my gosh, he man! Said go, that's not sexy. He, did, he was like, "Are you a narcoleptic?" I was like, "No." I wanted to go, "No, you're boring." Like all I can talk about <laughs> is your gun. So, geez, that didn't. That wasn't so. Oh no. He did ask me to go to his like um, policeman's um, okay, I'm gonna, little ball. Oh, that's yeah, cute. that was cute. I'm gonna I'm gonna put my head to this. I'm gonna think about this. Because, you know, they say most times the people you have, it's through like minded people. So right. a friend of a friend is usually the best bet. That's true. So I'm going to put my mind. Well, yeah, it. but that was my second husband. That was Niecy Nash, that friend of a friend. That scared me. Because, mm. that yeah, she, she hooked me up with a friend. Do you, and I'm still I'm still battle scarred. Are you salty with Niecy still? Or is that? Was I, no, I'm not salty with Niecy Nash. She feels so guilty. <laughs> When I tell you, Nisi, anytime anything happens, she will call him and she will be like, I swear to gosh, I'm going to get you. Ooh, I'm going to get you. So, no, she don't. She's We're good. Okay. Because it wasn't Nisi's fault. Of Ultimately, course. you make the choice on who you're going to be with. Yeah. But I tell Nisi, I said, but I wouldn't have bought the used car if you hadn't said the used car work. So, <laughs> I drove it off the lot because you said the used car was in good condition. So, I don't blame you, but I wouldn't have bought that used car. <laughs> But it's your fault completely. <laughs> when, when he, I wouldn't have, <laughs> not that I even got in the car. Yeah. So, mm. w- but you know, so that was a friend of a friend. Oh. And, but I know I am mad at all my bridesmaids though, because when I was walking down, before I walked down the aisle, when the pastor say, "Is there anybody who disagrees?" Nobody said anything. <gasps> then after you go through the divorce, then everybody got a story for you, girl, girl. I, hate I said, why, that. "Why you didn't tell me this beforehand?" So people get afraid to step into your business, to step into private business like that. They do get afraid, but you're supposed to, you know, like I'm walking down the aisle. They all did it because they got a free iPad. They got a free trip to Bermuda or the, the Angolese, wherever I sent them. They got a free, you know, Kim Whitley didn't say nothing because she's so happy to have an iPad. <laughs> And the, the groomsmen got Air Jordans. They, they got the gifts. That's what you gave away? Yeah, we gave, oh, yeah, we gave away good, good gave grooms away and Jordans bridesmaids. Jordans and iPads? Jordans and iPads. They got a free trip. I want to be down if you do this again. Yeah, if I get married again, I'll make you a bridesmaid. <laughs> Thank you. That's so nice. I'm not, no. And that's another thing. I, I don't know if that's a selling point. You, we ain't got to get married. 
Like I'm more companion. Yeah. Let's be committed companions. Yes. Marriage make you broke if, if something go wrong. Yeah. So I listen, when I'm not trying to get married. Okay, so you're looking for a companion. Like like a nice companion. Like we go out and we have a good time and we just I, any companion any potential companions in the city, you should meet us. Yes. On, not for me. But you got to have a good credit. I have a companion already. You got to have a job. But you have to Friday night come down to City no, Winery. No, don't come Friday night when I'm performing. That'll scare people because I talk about all my exes. Uh, I'm like, uh, I'm the Taylor Swift of comedy. Like, you can't, no, no, no. They can't come see me in comedy. Listen, if he's going to be with you, he's going to have to understand all facets of your now, life and career and who you are. You can't and she not, dumb you know, down introduce your... them to your six kids when you first talk to them. <laughs> like, they got you, they got to wait a little bit. Like, I, here's I the think thing. Reese come. Witherspoon. She is just getting divorced. Here's a trending topic. She's getting divorced. And I'm sad for her. You know the pressure on, on Reese? Now she she sold her company for $900 million. No. She got to find a man that make $901 million. million. <laughs> so she don't have to worry about nobody getting her money. Yeah. So it's like, I, now I have to find somebody that's kind of on that level. Because I've, I've dated the regular guys. and So you just telling everybody, if you think you're the man, a good companion, come on down to the club. That's a prisoner who just got out and who's at the halfway house, Angie. We got we got to be specific over here. All right, fine. And look at Angie. You can already tell the pressures so are you like I ain't got nobody for sharing. Right. This is this is tiring. No, I'm focused. Carrie I'm Washington focused. feels the same way about Reese. Her and Jennifer Aniston are like sweating bullets. They got to find a man that makes nine hundred and one million, million dollars. Do- million dollars. <laughs> million dollars. That's a hard one. All right. Well, if he happens to show up Friday night, you know, if he happens, he happens to, show to show up, what are you gonna yeah. do? I'm excited about the show. I'm excited you come to the show, City Winery, tomorrow night. City Winery tomorrow night. And then, of course, Sherry Shepard show every day. <laughs> every day. And is there anything else that we need to promote or tell? And uh, Kim Whitley and I, our podcast, we're going on the road. So we're going on the road. Who? Yeah. Two Funny Mamas, we're going on the road. We're going to be. Uh, oh, dope. J- we're doing three dates to see how we like each other. If we like each other that much. How much this you is, on each other's this nerves. Because unsung. Yeah. People break up, you know, yes. like best friends and stuff. It's like groups. when a couple does a reality show together. Yes. Yeah. And like so that. Kim and I, we've been best friends for a long time, mm. but we've never like gone on the road. Ooh, this could be a make or break. Stuff. Yeah. We yeah. get on each other's nerves. Yeah. You saw us on stage when we had to accept the award. <laughs> I was getting on her nerves. She was getting on my nerves. So, you know, so we're going to do three dates in Ben Salem, Pennsylvania on the 20th. May 19th, we're in New Brunswick, New Jersey. May 21st, we're in Wilmington, Delaware. And that's all on SherryShowTV.com. And if we look like we're doing it, if we, if it's it's good. We're going to keep going for the rest of the year. Well, get your tickets, everybody. <laughs> and check out the podcast and the show and the Sherry Shepard show. And we adore you, Sherry. And I'll pay you back your money. And give me my money. But I can't sell you. Or at least and send I can't me some cash popcorn, up. man. I will try. I can get you some popcorn. Okay. I can get you. But it's a, a lot of popcorn. significant amount. It's a lot of popcorn. <laughs> That's going to be one of them big old bags of the popcorn. Let me pay you the money. Okay. <laughs> give me Let, the me money. Just Let me take you out to eat. And we drink and we go shopping. And I'll see How about that? Oh, it's great. All right. That and, I'll, and give me some tickets for Friday. I, I love you. <laughs> Sherry Shepard, everybody. <laughs> it's Power 105.1. <laughs>